Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In my previous uh, video, I have taught you how to create a block page and how to create a database table for it. So now let's what we'll do here is whatever the data we have created and whatever the data we have stored inside my admin panel. So let's render that particular data into our front end part. So we'll create a card and we'll just render all the title as well as the description, time and date and who is the author. And along with that, we'll uh, render the images too. So let's see how to apply for loop and ninja techniques in the front end templates and let's play the intro and move on to the coding part. So we have seen in my last class we have said how to create a database table for the block so now let's uh, run the particular server i'll just open the terminal i'll just go to cd project over here then i'll just say python manage dot py run server so once i run the server you can see the database server will get uploaded if i come back here you can see the service is running here so once i click on to the blog you can see the blog url is not there so let's set up the url over here i'll just go to my urls.py file here so where i'll be creating the one more path that i'll just create a particular blog over here so i'll say whenever it is run i need to run the blog function so where the function name is what bl og blog you can see it is coming in the color fashion i think it is any keyword i'll just make it as a blocks over here so i'll just say here as a handle block i'll say i want to handle the block function so even the function name will be what handle block so once i save it will go to the views i need to create one function that is a handle block so i'll just create a one function i'll just create a function that is a handle block which will create a request will be getting a request here and uh, i'll just return so right now let's return render so let's I'll return the render and it will take the particular request as a first for sorry first one it will take as a request uh request and second it will take as a blog.html i'll just render to the blog.html file so i'll just create a blog.html file inside my template here so i'll just go to the template folder so i'll create one uh, blog.html file here so i'll just tell blog.html so i created a blog.html page so now what i'll do here is same as it is i'll just extend the base.html i'll just tell extends the particular base.html file so whichever the base i have created it so then i need to say wherever there is a block title so wherever there is a block t i t l title so just mention the title name as a blog over here so then so once the blog you mention the title name as a blog so then later what you need to say so the next is a block body so i'll say block uh, b word by body so i need to have a block body over here so i'll just enter it here so here i need to have a block body so i'll say uh, so now inside my block body i'll say here i'll just save this much so now i'll just go to the base.html file so whenever i try to click onto the blog it should go to the slash blog page so let me see whether if i it will go or not you can see once i click onto the blog it is saying the blog okay block comma html i given here so here i'll just go to the views so here i need to give as a blog.html okay so once i save it's a refresh you can see the blog.html the blog page is built in reload right now so here what i need to say here is here uh, i'll just go to the getbootstrap.com so i'll just go to the getbootstrap.com so here i'll just uh, see whichever the cards i'll just search for the cards here so once i search for the cards you can see i have the cards in this particular fashion let me see whichever the card is suitable for this particular page i'll be using that one so let me see whether which card will be good for uh, use so if i just say here you can see okay so let me see whether there are any three types of card so even i am not having this much so any other card you can see this is card is fine for me so you can see i'm having a card title and this much the data and what all the data is over here so you can see i'm having this card so i'll be using this as a block page so i can just display this as a block page or if you get any other extra thing or either i can just use this one so i think this will be better so you can see this will be better over for me so when you can use that one also either you can just use this one okay whichever you like you can just choose it doesn't matter so which is your totally it's upon your choice so now i'll be taking uh, the block page so i'll be taking this one okay so i think this will be good for me so i'll just copy this uh, tag so i'll come back over here so i'll just uh, close all the files from the right hand side i'll just close everything so i'll just keep open one views.py file then i'll just open the blog.html page okay so here i'll say 
create a container div dot container so obviously i'll be creating a container in all the stuffs so it is not giving the stuffs because uh, something is uh, it is not loading it so i'll say i'll just open the div tag over here so i'll just open the div tag i'll just uh, close the div tag so once i close and open so here i'll say uh, class i'll just give it here i'll just give the particular uh, class name for this particular div i'll just give class is equal to container so i'll just give the class is equal to container whatever the code i have copied i'll just paste it here so once i paste this code if i come here and if i refresh you can see i'm getting a three cards over here so now what i need to do here is so i'll just say the i'll just design little bit here i'll say from the margin top i need to have the card like a four over so i need to from the have the margin top i need to have four uh, space from the top so i'll just come and refresh it so you can see from the margin top it has been created little bit spaces now so now what i need to do here is i need to apply a for loop then i need to render all the data from the database to here so one more thing uh, else what else i need to have so here so you can see the row column one row column three has been given so here uh, the card is been divided into the column call of card call of card so you can see same thing is there to so fill here and even uh, here everything so what i'll do here is so let's see how can be done now so what i'll say here before after and continue i'll just create one h3 tag i'll just say here as a h3 tag so i'm not getting suggestion i don't know why i'm not getting suggestion i'll just save this one so i'll say here as so i'll just give the class name here click give the class is equal to um, i'll just give the class is equal to text to center i'll just create a text to center and here i'll just say a uh, blog so blog uh, latest blog i'll say let latest blog posts p o s t s post so i'll say latest blog post if i come and refresh so you can see i'm getting latest blog post over here okay so now uh, let's create one br tag here so let's create one br tag so either okay i can just give one more okay i'll just create a br tag here one line space sorry the br tag so once i save so if i come here and refresh so one line space will get created now it is looking fine for me no problem if you want to make it a little bit more highlighting you can just make use a tag that is a h2 tag and i'll just save this one so even if you want to give any font family to it you can just give. you can see the font will be there like this okay so if i want to give any font i'll just give the id is equal to uh, b l o g block so i'll just give the id over here so i'll just copy this particular id so later you can just give it no no need of given so i'll just remove so i'll just say so now what i need to do here is so first i'll go to the views.pio file so we can see the views.pio file will be here so whenever i run this particular function first what i need to do here is i want to get all the content of this particular block to my views so i'll come back here i'll just import it here i'll say from the dot models i have imported the content and i want to import it to the blocks over here so i'll just save this one so here inside my blog what i'll say here is i'll say mm, i'll say what are the all posts i'll say what are the all posts so everything all the posts i'll say from the blog dot objects dot all so when i run this particular function all the posts will get printed and if i see if i just try to print it now if i just try to print the all post if i just say print the all so i want to print all the posts see now in the terminal in the terminal nothing is there here so you can see now if i try to refresh the page when i run this function these two lines of code will run then it will return the blog.html file so whenever it's run you can see now here you can see i am getting the query set you can see here the query set the blog uploaded by is uploaded by khan so the two blog post i am rendering it rendering it over here so it means all the things i am getting it fine so now i want to convert this thing in object in the form of a dictionary then i need to send it here so what i'll say here is i'll say context i'll say context so i'll say context is equal to so i'll say whatever the all post is there so i'll say here as a all post i want to pass it as a key and value pair so i'll say all the post i want to pass it as a key and value pair so once it is done i'll say copy this context and i'll just pass a dictionary here as a third argument so once uh, this one i'll be uh, doing now so i'll just pass all the things inside my uh, container over it so that i'm just passing the particular context here so once it is done come back to the blog.html file so here all the data we can the data will get passed so now i will smartly i will apply a for loop so see where i need to apply a for loop means so call and card so you can see call and card so you can see if uh, this if i right click and format the document so it will be formatted the document now so now if i just see whether it is working yeah working fine so now come back here so you can see the div call is starting here so where the div call is starting and div call is ending where so let me i want to see properly so you can see one two and three one two 
three. So this is ending over here. So this means three div tag. I need to keep it. So then I need to remove all this one. So I'll just remove from here to here. So you can see I'll just remove this one. I'll just remove all the things. So large div should be what three one two three. I need to remove. So you can see one two three paragraph. So paragraph one two three. So I'll just remove this much. So now I'll just keep this much as it is. Now I need to apply a for loop. For here, I need to apply this particular for loop to this much. I need to apply a for loop to here. So I can see row is divided and it is taken a column one and row column MD three and G four they have taken. So that means uh, four column one row it will be taking it here. So I have said you about the stuff. So I'll say for loop apply apply the for loop here. So I'll say for the post in all post. I'll say for the post in all post. So what means for this particular all post? So that is a L P O S T all post. I am applying a for loop because this all post. So whatever the all post I am passing as a dictionary, it will be going to the context. So all P O S T S post. So I need to give the all post here the spelling. Fine. So now it will come back to the block dot html. That is a all post will be taken over here, and I'll apply a for loop. And I want to end this particular for loop where I want to apply the end this for loop after this three div tags. So once it is done, so I can extract now. I'll say. I'll in the place of image. I want to pass this particular. I need to use a Jinja technique. So I'll say, so whatever the post is there, I need to get the image. I M E G is nothing but this one. So if I open a model sort profile, you can see the image name I have given as I M G. I'll say image. You need to load it over here. So I'll say image dot URL. I need to pass the dot URL function over here. So this will be the one thing. So one is is done. So then later here, what is the card title? So here I'll say the particular title name. I'll say I'll just open the Post dot title name. So the title name I'll just pass it here, and here I need to pass what post dot description. So whatever the post description is, I said post dot des description. So I need to pass the post dot description. Description is nothing but this particular description. Description. Okay. D i s d e s c r i p r t i y n. You can see the spelling. D e s c r i p t i y n. Fine. So once it is done, so along with that I want to pass one hr line. Hr tag. I'll just use one hr tag. So I'll say one hr tag. So here I need to give one more paragraph tag. So here I'll just uh, use a paragraph tag one more. So I'll just use a one more paragraph tag. I'll just close the paragraph tag. So here I'll just use a bold tag over here. So I'll just to uh, use a bold tag. I'll just uh, choose the bold tag. So I'll just close this particular uh, bold tag over here. So what I'll say here is I'll say uh, the posted by posted by the particular author name. I'll just say posted by the author name should be in the highlighting one. So I'll say post dot auth name. So post uh, dot auth name. I'll say post dot auth name over here. So ye auth n a m e name. Just save it. So post dot auth name is nothing but this one. Ye u t h auth name. So auth name will be over here. So again, same. I need to pass the timestamp also. Like when it is posted. So I'll come back here. So I'll just copy down here. So I'll just tell. Uh, I'll just say timestamp. So time stamp is equal to post dot. Timestamp. I'll just say post dot timestamp. So once it is done, you can see it will apply a for loop. That means how many posts is there? It will apply a for loop and it will just copy down this particular div column. So once it is done, come back to here. If I refresh, so you can see I am getting a error that did you forgot to load or register this tag. So there is it. So this is what happening. So basically, it gives some of these errors. So I don't know why it gives. So I'll just uh, see what is the error. So now I'll just. Uh, Keep everything inside a single line block body. So I'll just save. So now I think uh, this error would have gone. So if I just save this one, if I refresh page, so you can see I am getting the data. You can see Django framework is coming, and the image is coming. All the thing is coming. Order the description is there, and the posted by Anis, and you can see the time uh, stamp is posted at this particular time. So you can see I am getting all the data in this particular format. Suppose I want to add one number, any other stuff. Suppose I'll just say I'll just change the background color here. So what all the stuff is there? I mean to give the background BG. I'll just give it to LIGHT light color. If I just give the BG right, so let me see. If I refresh, so I can see the light color has been little light color has been created. If you want to give it as a BG dark, you can give it BG dark also. You can just give it. So if I come here, if I refresh, you can see the BG color, the dark color is been posted over here. So it's yours. So I don't want to give any color. I'll just give it as a light color so that I don't want to make it an HD there. So once I save, so I can see if I refresh it, the dark color is been changed. Suppose now again, I want to add one more uh, admin. I'll just go to the admin. I'll just add one more post. I'll say uh, one more post here. I'll just add the JavaScript node JS. I'll just say here as a React. So I'll say here something like uh, React is the uh, most uh, popular popular framework. For a framework, I will be uploading to it soon. 
so something i'm just setting here so uploading so here i'll just say author name i'll just say uh, author name as a if i just give the author name as a preeta over here if i just save it so if i just uh, give one more uh, i'll just give, so select any picture so let's select this particular picture i'll just save it so once i save it is done so you can see if i go back to the view site if i go to the blog page you can see it has been posted over here so you can see this is how so you can see all the things we have done so suppose i want to get the latest post to the first and you can see one thing notice the uh, one post if i just open inside my mobile view if i just open in the mobile it will be looking like this okay it is fine for me and i want to open if i just try to click on to this image the image should get open so that for that you need to give only the one thing that is a href so if i just give the href here so inside a href also you need to copy the same thing and need to give it over here so not like this so actually i need to give it inside a anchor tag so what i'll do i'll just copy this one i'll just cut this one i'll just put everything inside a anchor tag so i'll just open the anchor tag i'll just open like this mm. So I just uh, so I have given in the anchor tag, right? So I'll just I need to okay. So so I need to give uh, okay fine. I'll just close it over here. So here I need to give in this particular fashion. I'll just tell slash a okay. So once I give like this, so you can see if the anchor tag is closing, and I'm just giving the same. So here there is a img tag, okay. So once it is done, if I come back refresh now, if I just try to click onto this, you can see the image is getting open over here. So now one more thing is what the one more thing you notice the latest uh, post if i just open in the mobile view the latest which i have uploaded is react so it should visible at the top and old post should go down so for that one i can just reverse the particular for loop over here i'll just say reverse i want to reverse the refcvr is reverse the for loop so once i apply you can see if i refresh it the the first the whichever the latest blog i have uh, posted the blog post it is coming at the top of those things so this is how you can uh, just create your blog pages and uh, add your own content title name whatever the things is there you can just add it over here so that's all for this video in next video we'll see with the different new concepts and if you like this video share with your friends subscribe to my channel and i'll see you next time